So here we are in Montreal in 1963. Uh, these are photographed by André Sima, a photographer from Hungary who had settled in Montreal, uh, had a portrait studio, did uh, photographs of different celebrations and events, and also worked as a photojournalist. And that's what brought him to take these photographs of uh, bombs that had been left in letterboxes in different uh, parts of Montreal. And you can see here, this is one that had been successfully diffused. Unfortunately, uh, this had a much more tragic ending. Um, these are six photographs that were printed and put on a panel. And they were done for display purposes because uh, Andre Sima um, was recognized for this very important body of work. So it was part of the World Press Photo Exhibition in 1963 and in 1964 also won uh, Best Picture Story of the Year by the National Press Photographers Association. And uh, this comes with this. And two years later, in 1965, this is another one taken by Henri Cartier-Bresson as part of that commission that he did with the National Film Board. And it's a very clever photograph, because for me, and one frame that seems to really encapsulate a lot of the issues that you see this rather well-to-do lady in high heels with a, um, her dog uh, out for a stroll and completely unbeknownst to her you have FLQ uh, written in spray paint on the side of the, um, the letterbox. Two years after this photograph Sam Falk came to Montreal at a much happier time photographing at Expo 67. And this was the lead-in uh, for a story that was done by the New York Times of Expo. And for a press print, it's got everything that you could want. Uh, it's got this great whiteout that would have been done by the art director, and it shows exactly how the photograph was going to be used. And for press prints, even though this has a lot of sort of use and abuse, that's what a lot of us look for in a press photograph because it shows its age, it shows how it was used, and it is an actual artifact from the era. Uh, 